Hello everyone, welcome to another Easy Excel tutorial. It's been a while since my last tutorial uh, due to my schedule. Uh, but today I thought I'd take a few minutes and sh introduce to you what Auto Sum is in Excel. It's a very useful tool. Uh, last time I showed you Auto Fill. Auto Fill is very useful. You can use that a lot more often than Auto Sum. But Auto Sum is also very useful if you're doing simple adding of columns or rows. So let's start. Uh, what I have here is just a small table of um, just a basic table listing computer parts, the price, the quantity, and a column titled total and a row titled total. Uh, you can add all of these uh, manually and put your answer in cell B7. Or you can use uh, functions that are available to us in Excel and do it easily, automatically, and very quickly. Um, so I'm just going to show you a few ways that you can add all of these. Uh, the first way would be to just start off with the equal sign again with all functions. You start off with the equal sign in Excel. Uh, and you can do you know, this plus this plus this plus this plus this. No, you can do it one by one. This is the manual classes. And then if you press enter, you get 348. And you can see in the formula bar that the formula is B2 plus B3 plus B4 plus B5 plus B6. Of course, this is a little redundant if you have, let's say, a thousand rows. You don't want to do that. So let's get rid of this. Uh, another way, if you want to just type it up, um, if you're using an online tool that functions similar to Excel, uh, most of them will have a function called sum. So if you type in sum, Excel will give you uh, a preview of all the functions that start with sum. Uh, I'll only be going over the first one. Uh, and if you start off that one, you put in... Um, if you put an open parenthesis, it'll give you the parameters that it needs. Number one, comma, number two, etc. But you can also do B2 uh, colon to B6. What this will do is it selects the range. And you can see, as you can see, it automatically selected the five numbers that I have here. If you close parentheses and press enter, you'll still get 348. And if you look at the formula bar, you'll notice that it's a lot less work. And it gets even faster. So let's get rid of this. You don't even have to type anything. All you need is one click and just press enter. Once you're in the total cell, when you notice on the home tab on the top right hand side something called the auto sum. It's a, a sigma sign. If your window isn't expanded enough, you'll only see the sigma sign. But this is the auto sum. So what you do is if you click on auto sum, it automatically puts in the sum B2 to B6 for you and you can see by this marquee that it selects the five numbers automatically. And if you press enter, you'll get 348. Easy, right? So if you have, whether you have five rows or a thousand rows, if you click on auto sum, it'll get every number above it or to the left of it, you know, if you're doing rows. Uh, it'll stop on blank spaces. So let me show you. Let's say we didn't enter a value for RAM. So if you click on auto sum, it'll only take the two values on top. So if there's a blank space, it'll skip it. It'll stop. Of course, you can edit this and include to B2. So it'll select everything, but again, 348. So let's do 48. Put it back in. I put 40. 348. That's auto sum. So the next uh, segment is we're just going to practice with auto sum. So with total, we're not going to be doing auto sum because it'll be 100 plus 1 and you don't want to run. That's not what we want. We know in our heads that if we multiply 100 by 100 by 1, we'll get 1. So you just want to create your own formula. So we'll do B2 times C2 and we'll get 100. Uh, if you look, watched my last tutorial, you'll notice uh, you'll be familiar with the autofill function, the autofill feature in Excel, and that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to double click and it's going to autofill all the way down to the five rows. And these are accurate. You can do the math yourself uh, if you don't believe me, but these are pretty accurate. And now in the total total cell, we can do an auto sum again and see how much our total expenses will be, which is $637. So again, whether you have uh, five rows or a thousand rows or you know, a thousand columns, if you want to just add, you can just do auto sum. Um, auto sum also has other functions. These are some of the more commonly used functions, the average, the count, the maximum, and the minimum. 
in future videos I'll go over them uh, but hopefully auto sum is something that you will uh, something that you'll use more often just like autofill uh, if you have any questions please feel free to ask me uh, remember to visit my website at easyprogramming.net uh, thanks for watching uh, remember to subscribe hope you enjoyed the auto